It's marker time! Welcome, I'm your host Merlot and today we're going to be using alcohol markers to draw a taiyaki ice cream cone fish. If you haven't had these before, they're really good and I almost think they're better than original ice cream sandwiches. And of course I just love ocean things in general, so the shape definitely helps. The scales were a bit tricky because it was a machine-made item, so all the scales were symmetrical and they were straight across where typically a fish, should, the scales are rounded. So I had to erase and redo that and try to make it straight across. I've definitely been a bit more experimental over the past few years when it comes to my art and trying to find what will work for my niche and my brand. So if you guys enjoy the alcohol marker art tutorial videos, let me know and I'd be glad to make more of these. My favorite part is definitely coloring stuff in. Ugh, to get through the sketch. I just want to color. I love coloring. I was surprised to see that there's not that many alcohol marker artists out there. So when I got started, I didn't really know what to do or where to turn and it's taken me the last four almost five years of trial and error to really figure it out and I'm still learning every painting. Should we call them paintings or drawings? I've been debating about that too. And my best advice with alcohol markers is definitely layering. You want to layer and layer and layer. I could spend multiple hours just building up the colors. If you might have noticed, my art style is a bit unconventional, and perhaps that's because chalk pastel was the first medium that I learned when I was young, and it heavily influenced my art style today. No matter the medium, I don't use tools the way they're intended, and I like to break the rules. So if that's you, I'd love to know. I used to feel bad about having a different take than other artists, especially since I was self-taught and learned a lot of things in different ways than most people would have. But as I got older, I realized that's what separated my work and made it different from other artists. And I do notice that the more layers you do, you tend to lose the definition of your line art. So don't be afraid to go back over your line art if it starts to fade away. I love taking the pink across the top of the face to add like a little stain as if the ice cream were leaking. I'd find it rather boring if the ice cream was perfect. Sometimes it's nice to make things look imperfect because it brings a sense of realism to it. 
I decided to add some dots for texture because it is like a cookie and it would be weird if it was just flat and solid. Gosh, I love adding the highlights. The highlights are what really bring the artwork to life. And I know you're supposed to leave white on the paper and, you know, use the highlight pencil as just a pencil, but I really like to use the highlight pencil to reverse paint and relighten areas and get these different shades that I couldn't get with the markers. And then after I add the highlights, I like to go back over and blend them with a light colored marker just to soften them out because I realize not everything is pure white. All done! Does he look yummy or what? Comment below what you guys think I should draw next! Thank you so much for watching! 